just so you know where we are, here's the Mount Zion Gate, and here is the Dormition Last Supper, David's Tomb Memorial. The Cenotaph of David. We're going to miss the sun now for a minute or so, as we're going to go down this alley here. We've been down here before, but I have a little plan today. Let's see if we do it. Every day is a treasure. Oh, we had these doves before, you remember? behind David's tomb and the last supper room. There you have the Dormition again. And here we have a little Holocaust memorial. Presumably, I don't know the history, but I imagine it existed long before the major Holocaust museum. Now we're going to be able to see the sun again in a moment. And here we have the Oscar Schindler's tomb reminder. But I have another little goal today, so I want to get there. Oh, this is a nice little spot to see into the Christian and uh, the Catholic cemetery here on Mount Zion. And that's where Oscar Schindler's tomb is. It's, uh, let me see if I can more or less locate it for you. No, it's at a level further down, so you won't see it from here. steps are a new addition. I don't remember having seen them and they obviously took some time to build. And I used to walk through here very often on my hiking on Saturdays. I even came up here with a, a family, a head of state family once. It was still just a rough path. We were walking through the Gehenna Valley up to Mount Zion from the spot of evil up to the place of grace. And we had the choice, so they accepted the option to come up here on the rough. So now we're down to the second level. And so if we look in the direction here of that pillar that's standing, it's this side of there. I think I even identify there's a couple of stones on top of a tomb. Normally there are a lot of stones on top. Let me see here. It 
It might just be that one there with those two stones, but I'm not sure because sometimes they'll clean off all the stones and start over. And Jewish visitors come and place stones there in gratitude. Gratitude is a great virtue when people help us in our lives. It's the wonderful virtue of justice, really, of because when we receive something that was given as a gift, and especially when it was given as a gift under such danger and potential danger for the giver, then it's so much more of a gift, you know. My eyes aren't failing me. I think I see fresco down there, but I'm not sure. Right there in the center of the screen. That looks like it might be fresco, which means that there was a very nice space here, living space, at one point. So we were here, we finished up one of our live streams here and we're um, looking out over East Jerusalem. This is the end, the wall of the cemetery here. And we're looking into the Gehenna Valley. So I want to bring you across hell. Okay, we're going to cross hell. Uh, only those people can come who sign the weaver. So if you didn't send in the weaver of liability, you won't be able to to cross over. But if you sign it now, you can just put a note there in writing that you're willing to cross over. And I won't be responsible for anything that happens to you. There's an interesting little feature down here, right lined up with the sun. It's actually another graveyard area as well. It's a monastery. And there you see the, the taf and the force, the the, the uh, taphos, which means, you know, you know the word epitaph, what's written on top of a tomb. So taphos is representing uh, the tomb of Jesus that's empty, and it's the sign of the Greek Orthodox um, reality. And so everywhere we see that sign, we know that they are responsible for the properties. And that's actually at least Orthodox, I'm not sure it's only Greek, because right there, there are Romanian sisters, at least years ago when I was there, contemplative sisters. And there are a lot of tombs in there. And there's a famous story from that particular one. It's where they found the, the uh, tomb that was robbed and at the burial chamber that was robbed and they found a man shrouded and the man had died from tuberculosis and leprosy as it's known today and that was just another instance of uh, dealing with skepticism skepticism can be good in a way it can ask us questions about things and not a ready uh, not a ready um, uh, in, uh, just credulous trust in what's said, but to ask serious questions. But there were a lot of questions or denial, really, of the uh, existence of the leprosy we know today, 2,000 years ago, but it turned out the, just DNA-wise it was the exact same. And uh, I saw some of the material of that shroud. It's in a museum store here in, in uh, Jerusalem. And it was interesting because of the interest I have in the Shroud of Turin, but it was all decomposed, which is also an interesting point related to the Shroud, because if it was decomposed, then the fact that we have a linen that's now dated by Italian cellulose tests as the same age as linens from Masada, 2,000 years old, then we have uh, a very interesting comparison point that the Shroud never disintegrated in 2,000 years, which is an interesting phenomenon. And here, 
I'm impressed by this support for the bridge. So bridges. And here what we see is like it's rooted, it's anchored. How important it is for bridges to be anchored. And many times we don't see that anchoring, but there we can see it very well for the suspension bridge. It's more visible almost for sure than suspension bridges. I also see some other stays that are here, probably connected with the support of the bridge. So we're walking across the bridge, just those people who signed up, who said they were willing to walk across here without danger to themselves. And if they do, I'm not responsible, okay? So we're the first time I'm walking on this bridge, and we're walking across hell. So people can go through terrible situations in life. Sometimes we use hell as a metaphor to describe them because there's nothing, nothing at all comparable to hell. You know, there's the birds here using the bridge. I'm sure the birds must be very happy about the bridges. These little doggies are, at the end of the day, they're friendly. We have all these doves here. I think they're counting on this bridge as their as their parking spot and now we're walking across it so In our readings today, we could say they're in a way they're bridges. To have bridges between people. And also to have a bridge from this life to the next. Who is that? Wow. <laughs> Everywhere you go, you meet people you know. Better behave yourself. Good morning. Keith Halleck. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. And how did you know me? From uh, Magdala. I'm a guide. Ah, she was Meg. Henriette. Henriette, do you want us to greet the people? Uh, she say hello, good morning. I'm doing live stream. Uh, hello, hello, everyone. Just, this is Henriette, she's a guide. Hello, hello. I'm, I'm so old, I forget names sometimes, but Henriette recognized me coming. Yes. So, from Magdala. So, we're in Jerusalem for a while now with the volunteers. It's a little quieter to do our media work. Yes, so then um, it's, uh, it's nice. This is the first time I'm walking on the bridge. Uh, no, I always come with my kids and my dogs uh -huh. to see the, the beauty of... of Jerusalem and the sunrise. Jerusalem. Yes, you have the Ascension Tower up there, Henriette. Yes. And now it's very interesting. No, it is, uh, the, uh, uh, our father. Yeah, yeah, but you have the both. The one, it is... Uh, the Ascension. The Russian, long one, Russian, it is Orthodox. the Russian Orthodox. Right. The small tower... It's uh, our father, and if you come from here, you can see the mosque that it is in the For corner. For the ascension. It is the ascension. Right. We have the monastery of... Uh, oh, yes, I can see the mosque right now. The community of uh, Caritas, that it is on the top of uh, Mount of Olive also, that it is the house of uh, uh, Ibrahim, Abraham. The guest house, the yes, Abraham the guest, guest house. house. It's for the scouts. Yes. We can see all uh, the tombs on Mount of Olive. Yes. Silwan Valley, Silwan uh, Village. Right. This is East Jerusalem, right? Yes. East South, we can say. Southeast yes. Jerusalem. And we have, we cannot see the city of David right. because it is in between the two mountains. Yes. And here, this is the Mount Zion. Of course, Mount Zion here. <laughs> we have uh, the green windows. It is uh, the King uh, David Hotel. Right. The tower, it is the YMCA. Yes. And the Jewish called that Yimka. Uh-huh. The hotel of uh, Salaman. That now has a new name. It's called Cassia. It's all written on it. Yimka. Yimka, they call it. Yimka. That, uh, yes. But well, that's because of the YMCA. Yes. The, the sea, it's K for them. Uh-huh. And uh, the hotel of Mount Zion, it will be uh, later on uh, restored. Uh-huh. We can see a small, uh, near the window there, the first window as a cabin. Ah, yeah, this, the... It was the hospital during the war of uh, 1967 that it was uh, the way to, t to take the soldiers from Mount Zion 
to the hospital here. Okay. You can see the line. It's yes. Uh, like it's a cable. Yeah, cable car. A yeah. cable car, like a cable car. Yeah. And we are on the top of the valley of Ihannon. Yes. I said to the people we're on top of hell. Yes. So I, to I told them <laughs> I would promise to bring them through hell this morning on a bridge. They make it as a colony. So do you want to send a message of hope to all the people uh, in Riyadh? hope the peace will be all over the world. First in our hearts. You are so right. Then it will be in all the world. Yes. Uh, in, in every family. Open their eyes and stop the war. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. From all sides. From all and sides. And these are my dogs. <laughs> they are friendly. So I'm going to go over to the other side. Uh, to We're already a while on the air. I'm not sure how long. So I've almost... Where do you want to go? No, no, I just go to the end of the bridge and go back. Oh, you can go down from the... Uh, no, I would walk back because I have to do an Instagram on the way back. So ah, I'll okay. Do Okay, Henrietta, thank you very much. Nothing, Just to wa wave goodbye to your people, yes, your friends. Yes, I am absolutely to see you again in our country, to have pilgrims again to come and visit our Inshallah. Country. Inshallah. We miss them. We miss you all, all, all. So the readings are very beautiful today about unity among us, building bridges between us when there are divides about uh, doing good to poor people here and you won't be paid here, you'll be paid in eternal life. Sabah Noor, good morning, Sabah Al Khair, Sabah Ward. So these are Palestinians, the guide and this gentleman on the wheelchair, giving a very friendly good morning here. And now we're on the other end of the bridge here. So I encourage you to read the readings. We had didn't get into the text so much this morning, but this was a, a very special walk. So again, we see how the, the bridge is sustained here, very solidly like our spiritual lives and our families must be sustained solidly. And those bonds are bonds of love. The most solid bonds are the bonds of love, the love that is real love that's ready to sacrifice. This is the greatness of love. So here we see Mount Zion. And Henrietta, would you like to be in the selfie moment? I do just turn the camera around and we can both say goodbye together. You can see me. No. You are so big. <laughs> no, one second. There's something wrong. No, no, because no, look in the other direction. Saying, exactly. Yeah. Yes. No. <laughs> That's why you're not in the picture. I'm trying to turn it around. Yes. There we are. Here we are. So we have the sun over here. Oops. Yes. The... Come on. It's turning around on us here. So we're not having... It is... We should be like this. Yes. To have the sun behind us. Ah, yes, you are right. Yes. You should come every day for the sunrise rolling chat. <laughs> yes. Hope to see you. Goodbye. God bless you all. God bless you all. Thank you, Henry.